Hello, good afternoon, listeners, viewers, and my honorable subscribers. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Latin America Calling You. This is Omar Chadnat, and I am speaking from Chile. In this video, I am trying to explain how you can open a company in Chile or to start a business in Chile just as a tourist. The very first process is that you have to enter in Chile as a tourist with a tourist visa. No matter it is a 50-day tourist visa or one-month tourist visa or even a 15-day tourist visa. When you will enter in the immigration check post, they will give you a PDI certificate. That is, it is an immigration card. This card is very important for every process in Chile, whether it is a, a work visa process or a tourist visa or an extension or a residence permit or a business opening. Anything, this document is of uh, extreme importance. With your passport and this PDI card, you should choose a local partner for starting a business. This partner may be a Chilean citizen or a foreigner. But if he or she is a foreigner, he or she must have the permanency. That is, she must be a permanent resident of Chile. And now, the, there may be many partners, up to 50 partners, and you have to find a local lawyer. This lawyer should be expert in immigration matters and company opening affairs. And in the meantime, you have to prove that you have enough money to start a business. And this amount of this money must not be less than 7,000 American dollars. So now how to prove that you have money? Number one, if the money from other country enters in Chile to your name, you should preserve the certificates. That means the Western Union certificates or RIA certificates or even in any way, you, you must prove that you the money has entered from any country through your name in Chile. And if you have a credit card and this balance of this credit card is uh, sufficient, I mean more or less uh, more than 7,000 US dollars, you can use this credit card to probe your uh, uh, sufficiency of amount. And there are another option. There are many options. One of them is that if you have a certificate from your home country that you have enough money in the bank and you are going to uh, invest in Chile, and if this certificate is legalized by Chilean embassy in your country, this is very important and this is enough and this is sufficient to serve your purpose. When you have this document, uh, I mean to probe your uh, enough financial stability in Chile, you should uh, give a power of attorney to a local partner. That means in your local partner will be responsible uh, to represent the company in case you are not in Chile or either in Chile because he is a local partner, he is a Chilean or a foreigner and he has the legal capacity to represent the proposed company. When you sign this power of attorney at a notary public's office, you should go to the impuestor's office. Impuestor's office is the office which is responsible to open and com open a company and to monitor a company within Chile. And they will uh, allot a root number. This is R-U-T root. This, the root number is a unique number in Chile which you, you will have to use in case uh, you, uh, you open a company. Actually, this, this root number is always allotted to persons who have residence permit. But in case of investor, they uh, offer a root number specially for this purpose. This is a temporary root number. With this root number, you can participate in opening the company with the partners. So the lawyer will form a company online. And this company is a, it may be a limited company or SPA company. So there are many categories. You can choose any of the categories. When the company is formed online, you should download all the documents, but don't worry, the lawyer will do all the activities. He will do all the process and because he is authorized to start a company on your behalf. When the documents will be downloaded, all of you has to go to the notary public's office 
for firma digital or digital signature and the notary public is authorized to finalize the company when the notary public will finalize the company he will give you all the documents uh, in color and he will download all the documents and these documents have a special root number that means the company has a root number if you are f up to 50 partners all of you have uh, individual root numbers this but the company has a special root number then the representative of the company has to proceed to SII office, that is impressed office, uh, for a password. They will give you a password and with this password, he can change his own password, change his password and he can allot a new password for his future use. So now the company opening is well done. Now your duty is to open a location to start the real business. It may be a house or it may be a public, it's a commercial place or a public place, wherever you want, you can should rent a place here, it is called local. And in order to get the municipal certificate, the municipal authority to get the, the, the um, to start the business, uh, you should have the rent certificate from the owner of the shop. And with the renting certificate, you have to proceed to the municipal. If it is a, a, a hometown, you know, if it is a suburb town or if it is a municipal town, you should go to the municipal office or if it is a metropolitan office, you have to go to the metropolitan city office uh, to get your certificate they will authorize you to start your business now your company establishment and the renting of the shop is well done and we have got the certificates from the municipal to run the business but if it is a, a food business you must go to sanida office sanida is the health ministry office you have to apply for permission to start a food business they will verify the documents then verify they they have to you have to maintain the criteria and if of criteria are fulfilled they will give certificate to run the food business so it's well done and you can start the business sir if you like my videos and if you are pleased with my information please subscribe my channel and keep in touch thank you welcome to chile